stay put. Nose of a dog, the heart of a marine, sounds like a hero to me. This is Michael Cosentino with your breaking news update. There has been reports of deadly forest fires in Southern California. There have been several casualties and many severely injured. We now take you to Marco LaRufa, who is live at the scene. Thanks, Michael. I am live at the scene, and from what I can see, the firefighters are trying to control the fire, and they are looking for more bodies. We are still unaware of the cause of this fire. However, we will keep you updated if we find any new information. I'm here with our expert, Stephen Chatterpaw, who will inform you more about forest fires. Thanks, Marco. Forest fires can damage homes, vegetation, and habitats, can harm or even kill people, or and cause air pollution. Right now, the forest fire is very bad and can get out of hand quickly. California is, has a high risk of forest fires because it's dry and hot all year round with, a few, with very few days of, with precipitation. Any percent of for, wildfires are caused by humans. Now we will leave it to our witness and our reporter, Marco LaRufa. So, what are your guys' names? I'm Pierre. And I'm David. So tell me, David, what did you guys witness around 10.30 Pacific time? We were setting up our tent for a camping trip when Pierre saw something suspicious. Yeah, I saw some black smoke coming from the other side of the forest. Me, David, David and I assumed right away that it was a fire. I went to go get my cell phone, but I had no service, so me and Pierre left the tent and ran away. Then what did you guys do once you left the forest? We tried calling the fire department again, and David finally got service. They arrived on the scene in seconds. What is that black stuff on your faces? Oh, it's some ash from when we were running through the forest. Thanks guys for your time. Now back to Michael Costello. Thanks, Marco. We will now take you back to our red regular scheduled programs. We're so proud of you both. Oh, you hear that, Max? Say hi. Come say goodbye to your brother. Justin. Leave him be. I'm just over here dealing with a minor insurgency. We now take you back one month ago, where there was a deadly forest fire in Southern California. We spoke to the two witnesses who, that are currently suffering from post-traumatic stress, stress disorder from that dip. We now take you to Marco LaRufa, who is at the house of the two witnesses that are currently suffering from it. Thanks, Michael. We're here with Pierre Wasfia and David Azevedo, two survivors of the California forest fire. Hi, guys. How have you been doing since the forest fire? We've been doing fine until about a week ago when we were diagnosed with PTSD. What did you guys do after you were diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder? We were experiencing many symptoms, such as anxiety, reminders of the trauma, and emotional abuse. Where did you, where did you go, and what did you do when you thought you had PTSD? Well, when we thought we had PTSD, we went to our local therapist, and they organized a plan for us to get a service dog. Two days later, we got a service dog from our local medical service. When do you think you'll get, you'll be cured from this disorder? Our therapist told us that it depends on when you'll be cured because everyone is different. How does Chester help you with this disorder? Well, he helps us to in many ways. When we are sad or when we are sad or angry, he comes to me and begs to play with us, which cheers us both up. Thank you for your time and I hope you get better soon. Now back to my friend. Thank you. Thanks, Marco. We will now take you back to our red regular scheduled programs. Dude, what are they doing here? Max bonded so closely with Kyle, he can't work.